Hello YouTube, today um, I'm going to be doing the team building today, so we're going to see how that's going. Um, as I said before, the team building will normally be um, two interesting Pokemon, so um, yeah, two ones that are not highly used. Um, let me see if I can find my uh, first one. I know who I w am wanting to use, it's going to be a fuzzball. Uh, maybe you guys can guess before I even get to him. Um, yeah, there he is, um, Primate. Um, not sure what ability I want to do. I know not the anchor point. Maybe Defiant. Defiant might come in handy. Of course, I could see Vital Spirit coming in handy, but Defiant also could come in handy. Especially if I was facing Intimidate users. Then I just get attack increase. And Primate is just going to start killing stuff. We're going to lead the moves blank. I know this is kind of a little weird, but it's mainly because I want to get my uh, Pokemon out and I want to figure out um, um, what my common weaknesses are a little bit. So here I want to get I want to get a Prankster Pokemon that I heard about. It's actually really good. Now where is C? Where is the little bug? Ah, there she is. Yep. Going to be playing around with that fun little Prankster ability. <coughs> um, so right here, um, I'm going to do Charm, um, because that hurts physical really well. See, it's pretty specially defensive. Thunder way to deal with speed, because I think I'm, this team is going to end up being slower. I know you could do Confine and Baton Pass, but U-Turn because I see no potential of using Baton Pass when we, um, we have nothing that is a plus to give to our opponent and we have access to U-Turn. I don't want to see myself hitting U-Turn every time. So yeah, we're going to do the Careful Nature. This one we're kind of making now, and that's kind of because he's going to be a wall. Kind of looking at what her uh, defense would look like before I actually, like, comment on anything. But, and she'll have a decent defense, and with uh, Prancher Charm, that's going to uh, allow her to take a lot of physical hits. So, I don't think I have to worry too much with her. She's not the biggest wall, so I don't want to give her, like, a leftovers. But I do want to give her a healing item, because she can't really use an attacking one. Oh, let's see what we can find. What can we find? Um, let's go, you know what, let's go Citrus. That way we can make sure we get that whist off. Um, Primate, what's your stats look like? I think I want you to be Choice Scarf, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to do Choice Scarf. You know what's actually cool about it? this IV spread right here is we will outspeed an animate guard chomp. Uh, uh, we will outspeed a choice scarf uh, animate guard chomp right now with this EV spe uh, spread. So that's actually pretty aggressive. Primate outspeeding a guard chomp. I know that feels weird not to use it all in the. Uh, make them animate with a choice card, but I just feel like having those few things more we're going out speed is going to be somewhat more important. Um, let's see. I might do earthquake, I'm not sure. But definitely close combat and U-turn. Maybe poison jab for, because the fairies. He also gets access to the elemental punches, so I may have to really think about what I end up adding to the team here. 
not really sure what I'm going to add to it. Probably going to find out. Yeah, we'll do poison jab. Um, I don't know if I want to leave that spot, uh, spot to <laughs> blank for right now. I kind of come back to it. But let's go ice punch because, like I said, we now beat Garchomp's. And with an ice punch, we completely uh, front for a lot of directions. So this primate is actually going to be our uh, checks to uh, dragons and fairies. Pretty good. Uh, nickname him uh, Fuzzy. I don't know. I'm trying to nickname think what the name of those uh, disco balls, but Fuzzy is still pretty <laughs> funny. Um. I don't know what's a good nickname for her. I've never seen her use, so yeah, let's just call her Princess for now. So now we got uh, our two unique Pokemon. Let's pick something to uh, support these guys. So what would be a good supporter? Um, let's pick something from you. You see what we got. See what we got, guys. Um, what is a good Pokemon? I mean, Blastoise looks really good. Yeah, Blastoise really is looking good with that uh, solid defense stat. Let me look up War Turtle real quick because I want to see which one would be better as Eevee Light War Turtle or Blastoise with Leftover. Um, War Turtle does have better defense with Eevee Light, but uh, Blastoise will have better healing, and that might come into uh, play more often because this is going to be our wall is this uh, Blastoise. So we're going to do Rapid Spin because I feel like this team is going to be very um, Swiss initiative, so kind of having um, two Rapid Spinners or Defoggers. I feel like it's going to be pretty important for this team to uh, help uh, win battles. At least that is how I'm feeling right now. So, do I want to give you, well, yours a wall, so what's a good wall attack for you because I don't really want you back. Dragon Tail would work nice. You know it would be nice if we had stealth rocks, but uh, dragon tail still works good. Um, yeah, rain dance and aqua jets. Um, the IV spread we're going to go with is. I'm not sure what we're going to go with at the moment. Probably my normal uh, mix wall, which is a hundred, hundred something, but yeah. I don't know. I want to see physical if he worth it. Uh, yeah, I kind of like him. So we're not going to have like any solid switching on physical, but. We are going to have like switch ins for it because once the uh, Lumina come in, it will um, start charming them and then they're not going to be able to do too much. And with Blastoise, he already have pretty good defense. Now, for nickname, it's probably going to be what I always call all my Blastoise, um, which is uh, Bowser. I know we are nicknamed, but. That's tend to be what I like about my Blastoise, calling him Bowser. Um, let's see. Still have three more Pokemon, so what are three more Pokemon that are going to be uh, beneficial to this team? Um, like I said, I feel like we need another Volt Switcher slash U-Turner, or another Defog and Rapid Spinner. Huh, this team is looking very physical 
oriented, so hopefully we don't get mold out because we're not really using any installers, so we're using kind of physical and type advantage. So yeah, that's looking interesting right now. Um, I'm really stuck at who I want to use. Yeah, Aerodactyl. A fast defogger would probably be really uh, helpful. So we'll give him the focus shots just to kind of help him uh, make sure he gets those defogs off. <coughs> so yeah, we're going to be using our Aerodactyl. I mean, obviously this is going to be the defogger. I don't know, maybe I might use Stealth Rocks, I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, Aerodactyl got a lot of support stuff with Tailwind, Taunt, and Stealth Rocks, so. I'm trying to think how I want to use them. Rock Slide for Stab, and. Um, so, I don't know, for the last move, I mean, we could go flying, but none of the flying stab Aerodactyl really gets it that great, because he doesn't get Brave Bird, that sucks. Um, maybe I should just give him the Defog or something. I'm trying to think if I should just give him a move, or should I just come back to him? could do sky drop. This works uh, really nice with uh, stealth rocks. Um, yeah, we're going to do jolly with that speed, so that way we can outspeed some uh, slow choice scarf. <laughs> cho slow choice scarfers and max and uh, max attack with a little bit of uh, HP. So. Um, very standard build. Um, I know this is kind of different with a Pokemon with a 130 bait speed, but I basically want him to outspeed Choice Scarfers already, so just kind of putting my opponent in a bad position. So, that's kind of what is my thinking. I don't know if I'm able to use Mega Medichan, but I want to. I know I need a fake out user, and I really like. Like uh, Mega Med Chan. If I can't use Mega Med Chan, I'll, I may end up using Med Chan. So, whatever my IV and stab stuff is going to be for this one is what it's going to be for regular Med Chan. So, um, fake out. Um, I'm misspelling a little bit. Drain punch. Bullet punch. Since that basically will hurt everything. Unfortunately, I don't think you get U turn, do you? Um, let me think. What would be a good attack? You also get access to the elemental punches. I mean, I could do your psychic stab, but I don't really want to do uh, Zen headbutt. Not this time, at least. Uh, Maybe I'm thinking uh, going a little bit more an elemental punch, so I don't know, maybe fire punch, thunder punch? Hmm. Thunder punch wouldn't be a bad idea. I can't really think the too much that would be really great and that's standing out for me. Yeah, I really can't think of too much standing out. You know, I might just be clicking, uh, yeah, you don't get knockoff, so. That's great, you would be, if you got knockoff, you do not get that move, so. Uh, you, you do not get the two utility moves I really want you to have. So, uh, I don't know. No, definitely not poison job. We are got a poison, so, yeah, thunder punch. Um. Max attack. One difference here is if it is a regular Medi Chan, is I'm going to make it the speedy nature instead of uh, I'm going to make his 
drawing instead of animate and that just because it needs to outspeed a few things. So Siva, I'll see the great nickname for many chance you can ever give it. So yeah, we are now down to our last Pokemon, Ice, Fire, Electric, which are all good types, even Grass, Stab, so I don't know. I do not know if I want to go dig into a grass type. I am feeling more of a fire type Pokemon would be really helpful at this moment. Then again, I could also see I'm going into a electric and doing a bolt switch stuff. So that's the other um, possibility I'm really going into. I mean, Delphox, I like it, but. I already have one really good pivot Pokemon. I know I don't need a second one. I did a second one, it's going to start getting weird and a little bit cloggy. You really only want one of them. Two, if you have a team of all hitters, but this is a team of Swiss, uh, of all guys who are supposed to come in and out really fast, so. Using a lot of pivot Pokemon isn't going to fly that well here. So, who do we want? Um, I don't know. What, I think I know who I want. Um, where is he? Yeah, Demand Hand. I really think this is the guy who I want. Sheer Force with Life Orb. You guys do have similar stats except for you're a lot more heavier hitter. Now, kind of with how we have our type coverage, I almost feel like, yeah, we definitely want um, a little bit more um, defog, especially with a fire type. Because Stealth Rocks is going to hurt our team so bad. Um, flare Bit. Flare Bits. Um, Life Orb because... Wait, is it? Um, what attacks do you get? What attacks do you get to Man's Hand? I haven't used one of, you in a one of you guys in a long time, so I'm not really familiar with all your attacks. Definitely had not, so... Um, I could see me using a couple of those attacks, so... I don't know. I think what I want to do is I'm going to do Earthquake and... Superpower. Just for those heavy hit um, <coughs> elemental moves. Well, not elemental. Just heavy hit um, moves that a lot of Pokemon are weak to. Dark. Um. Yeah, I think this could work. Fire and. Um. At least that's what I'm thinking. So yeah, Earthquake Superpower and for Eevee's Red. I feel like you're going to be a Jolly too, just because I'm not giving you the Choice Scarf. And I want you to outspeed a lot. I don't really feel like I need to give you Max Attack because you have that 140, so you're already going to be hitting most of everything so hard. So I don't know. We're going to put a little bit more IVs into your health so you can live some hits. Uh, work around with your life or recoil a bit, so. That's it, would work out for our advantage a bit. So now let's go air dagger. You know what? Inside Sky Drop, we're going to go crunch. That's just to help us with our tight coverage a little bit better, so we'll be able to hit everything a bit harder, so. Yeah, I think this is our team, guys. Uh, tell me what you think. Have a great day. See you guys again.
Bye.